All right, it's Matt along with Goo, and today I'm going to talk about something that I need to get off my chest. Uh, this isn't going to be about what should you do, what shouldn't you do, but instead this is kind of my plea to Square Enix to try and uh, see what they can do to fix a huge problem. Uh, I was going to think about, I'm just going to go through, but personally, I first need to talk about uh, how much I love Dragon Quest. Um, to be honest, it was my very first role-playing game that I played uh, that wasn't text-based. Um, I'm old enough to honestly say that I played Dragon Warrior when it came out with the Nintendo Power that came for free. And I remember this insanely awesome uh, commercial. Prepare thyself well, Dragon Warrior. Thy most challenging quest ever awaits. Go with speed and go with patience. Seek out an arsenal, a dragon scale, a torch, and magic herbs. Use wisdom and cunning to choose thy commands, for the Dragon Lord is a fierce rival. Horrible and treacherous minions all guard the evil one's island castle. Are they ready, young one? Yes, King Lord. And so begins a new epic, Dragon Warrior. Nintendo, now you're playing with power. And to be quite honest, I still warmly remember all of those wonderful memories that I had, especially for Dragon Warrior, and it's not wasn't Dragon Quest at the time, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, as those were games that I played when I was growing up and in uh, basically either uh, grade school or high school. Right now there's a huge problem and I'm going to play it here on stream. You can see that this is Arachi 10 um, and you can see that it's going to be three turned with F monsters. Basically what this is, it's a plug-in, and I'm not going to go any more uh, further into this because cheating is not exactly what you know we want to uh, provide here. But you can see, and you'll see in a minute here, that uh, that is going to be one-shotted by a ghost, 17. What's basically happening here is notice zero damage here, zero damage there. This is basically just rewriting the overall script, um, and uh, really what's happening is uh, the a lot of the settings, the HP and defense, have been reset to level 1 instead of the whatever levels that they're currently doing. Um, and it's actually might only be HP, um, and the, the, the magic is actually just going to do whatever damage, and the attack is actually level 1. It's hard to say exactly what it's doing, but minus that point right there, really what's going on here is that we know that this is now, um, and it's a plug play, so it's not an APK, so it doesn't just directly mess with everything and send it there. It actually changes what's going on inside the game. We really need to figure out what's going on because at this point, it's going to directly affect, you know, profits going through here because at this point, why play the game? And I know 99% of the people aren't going to go do this, but the bigger issue is arena. Um, we know that we've had the quote unquote bug for quite a while. And I don't even remember. Oh, it's in the important part here. Uh, and the in-game rankings, it's been June 11th and I'm not, some people are pointing out that you know it's directly through this uh, some player rankings may not be displaying correctly in the game it may take some time to discover the cause blah 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 now that you know we've got a good video here and uh, on reddit that one of the things that usually makes or breaks uh, games isn't you know content per se but it's the communication and when there's an issue what are we going to do um, 
I'm just going to give a couple of quick examples and then, you know, kind of just go on what should be happening. The first thing here is one example would be um, I still am a content creator for uh, FFBE, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, which is another Square Enix game that is uh, hosted by another company. Um, I know that people who play FFBE rail against uh, the company itself, but compared to most of the other um, gotcha games out there, they've done the best job continuously. Have they made mistakes? Yes. Uh, have they, you know, shot themselves in their own foot? Yes. But they have done the least damage, and this game, the ga that game just had its five-year global anniversary, and it's nearing its six-year anniversary in Japan, so they've obviously been doing things relatively right. Others, like uh, Disgaea, uh, Boltrend has completely uh, bottomed out. Uh, My Hero Academia has also had some severe issues, uh, and Seven Deadly Sins, uh, and the main, main issue was that they had very poor job of doing communication. Uh, and I know, uh, Malcolm, you've done a good job of explaining what you can, so please don't take this as a uh, slight on you. I understand the limitations that you're going through, maybe more than most people who are uh, doing the complaints. Um, I was friends with Elytra. I understand what she had to go through. And so that's just kind of an example of how I know things are and how unfortunate uh, of a position that you're put into when things happen. Uh, because you're the one that gets all the blame, but you're really just the messenger and have very little input uh, on that message other than how to say it to people, which doesn't always feel the greatest. Uh, I kind of have, sometimes I'm put in position my own job doing that, so I truly understand what's going on. But what we really, really need is much better communication on this issue, what's going on. Now I'm gonna go back to the FFBE days again, uh, once again. I'm not a day one, but I'm pretty close to a day one player there. And we had a lot of issues. Uh, they were almost all APKs though. This being a plugin is a little bit more worrisome and I understand can be actually a little harder to track. Uh, but uh, after um, the company uh, talked about it and started to have a communication going on, there was still an uproar, but I'll be honest, I think that uproar was just angry that a quote quote wasn't fixed right away a and having the ability to uh, after like a month or so they started banning you know moving counts back up etc etc now if this is affecting arena this is kind of the area where the heavy spenders like to compete against everyone else and you know what some of the uh, not so heavy spenders are doing very well in arena too legally I may add as well and and that's a good thing because you know that's kind of how you keep your communi community happy and spending but right now what we're seeing is that the cheaters are getting away with it or at least that's what we're seeing in the eyes with the lack of communication so my ask is that we really need a communication of what's going on here. A and uh, I think it's more we need an official from a higher up, higher than Malcolm, not because he's not doing a good job, or Malcolm being able to proclaim the, uh, go through it and state what's going on. It's because with it being held up and this is being literally our only communication in the past three weeks, People are starting to get fed up, and people are starting to uh, try to get a, a spending boycott of the game. Now, some people are going to be upset. I'm not going to go on a full spending boycott. I still like, and I still have plans to at least do the paid summons, if there are paid summons. 
for the banner coming up here for DQ5. But that's as far as I'll go. Uh, I'm not going to go any deeper, any farther uh, than that. That's where I'm going to draw the line. I was actually planning on going maybe maybe 30k deep into one of the banners. But at this point now, I'm just going to do the paid banners and then that will be all. So, I really need a little bit more assurances that we are going to get better communication. Um, I'm not saying fix it right away. It would be nice if we can, but I do understand that we have limitations and sometimes the fix is really, really difficult. But what we can fix is the communication and the hiding of the issue. Um, I know that if you read in between the lines of some of the notices that I've sent out, there are warnings being there, but we need better communication, guys. That's what I want to see. And I'll be honest. If we don't start seeing the communication, I do think this community community will start really fracturing really hard and those are the death knells of games those are when games start really plummeting and i really don't want to see this um, you know i'm okay with disgaea maybe not making our way through compared to dragon quest because dragon quest literally i have been there since maybe the second month it came out in the U.S. It's been a part of me for so much longer in my life than almost, than almost everything else that I still currently do except for bowling. So, you guys just learned something there. And I have the expectation for it, for me, to try and make it as good as I can. So that's why I'm making this video. Um, I know others are being much more demanding and they have their views, but for me, what I want the very least is communication. Uh, and I 100% agree with the vocal part of the community that the communication has been spotty at best and we need to really talk about it right now or we're going to lose some of the bigger parts of the community which I feel might be a very, which I know is going to be a very bad thing for the game. Uh, I've kind of rambled on. I don't have much else that I want to talk about. But this is my plea to you that we need better communication here. And I can be honest. If we get the communication and there's still some bumps and bruises, people will come back. We had this issue with FBE, but when they finally started communicating, people became more understanding. And it's not going to solve the problem right away, but at least if we know, then we can understand what's going on. How, what can be done to fix it? Are we going to fix it? Etc. So, that's all I've really got to say. It's your move, you guys. Good luck. And I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.